What's going on everybody? Three months later, PlayStation Now versus Xbox Game Pass. Let's check it out. All right, happy holidays everybody. I feel like it was just a matter of time before subscription services came into our gaming. We have PlayStation Now and Xbox Game Pass. And I'm gonna talk about them after using them for three months. So I'm gonna talk about each service actually in three different areas. I'm sort of about talking the, the price, uh, the games, and also just the services in general, different features that each one has. Uh, don't be fooled by the beanie. It did influence my decision, but maybe not in the way you'd think. All right, guys, a quick note. Wally from the future here, because of course, PlayStation announced the new PS Now games after I recorded the footage. So let's check them out. So it looks like they're going to be getting Uncharted, The Lost Legacy, and Horizon Zero Dawn next month. Um, so you got the article on the PlayStation blog, it should be. Um, so this coincides with what we knew, that we're going to lose God of War, GTA 5, Infamous, and Uncharted 4 uh, in, on January 2nd. So starting January 2nd, you will get Horizon Zero Dawn, Uncharted Lost Legacy, and Overcooked 2. I just wanted to add that in just to emphasize. Remember, always check what games are on each service. It's going to change from month to month. Um, the other thing I wanted to say is that even though uh, I think what I say will work for PC and console, I mainly played on the PC, and there's some things that I'll get into about PC also. But GG's, let's get back to the video. All right, so let's talk about the price first off, right off the bat. So overall, the, each service hits the baseline price of $9.99 per month, but that does vary a lot between services. With PlayStation, you do have a $25, $24.99 three-month option, and also a $59.99 one year option and with PlayStation now you also can get one week free trial which doesn't really make a whole lot of difference um, one week I don't feel like you might get me able to play one game but you, at least you can see what kind of service it is and actually at least test it out on the game pass side you have a 999 a month uh, for console 499 right now for PC I know that was just the inventory price beta originally you're saying just your first month was gonna be 499 but for me right now I was still getting charged $4.99 on PC um, after three months. So I don't know when that's going to change. But also you could bundle those two services, console and Game Pass, excuse me, console and PC together with Xbox Gold uh, for $14.99 a month. So like I said, each, each, each service is around the same price right now. PlayStation obviously has only one service, only on the console. So you only pay one price for console and PC. But as of right now, you could only stream to the PC, and you would also need to hook a controller up to your PC. So you cannot play the PlayStation games right now on your PC with a mouse and keyboard. If you wanted to play something with a mouse and keyboard on a PlayStation console, you could check out the Zim Apex, which I actually did a review of in an earlier video, which allows you to use mouse and keyboard on a console. But for me, I only use it in single player games. I wouldn't use it online. I'm better with a controller anyways, but just for a matter of fact, I wouldn't use it online. But like I said, the prices is basically the same, but on the Xbox side, uh, console and PC are two separate services. You can bundle them together on the Ultimate, like I said, but they have deals all the time. Um, just recently, I saw a deal where you could go into your Microsoft account and you could pay for Game Pass uh, Ultimate five for five cents a day. Also, I saw a deal recently where you could uh, buy a three month pass and you get a three month for free for Game Pass Ultimate. Sen essentially, you're getting it half off. So Game Pass has a bunch of deals all the time, which kind of varies this a lot. So just look around and which services you want and check to see if there's any deals going on right now, especially on the Xbox side. I haven't seen as much on the PlayStation side, but I feel like going in the future, PlayStation is going to try to emulate. They're already kind of doing it, emulate what Xbox is doing with Game Pass to make it more competitive. All right, let's change gears to the game. So this is kind of, it's gonna vary every month, month to month. They're gonna add games, they're gonna take games away. So this is definitely, like I said, like the price. You're gonna wanna look at the games as well for something uh, that you're gonna get into because the games are gonna change from this video. They've changed even since I've started recording footage for this video. It's been a little bit, but still the, the games are gonna change from month to month. Um, so starting off PlayStation, for me, I actually think they have better games overall. I think it's not a secret. PlayStation has the best exclusives they've had. That, them this whole generation um as of right now you can play god of war uh, infamous uncharted bloodborne the last of us if you haven't played any of those games at all and say you're just a pc gamer only um this is your chance to play them you have to stream them you can't download them but it may be it may be worth worth those to you those some of those games bloodborne and god of war for sure some of my favorite games of all time uh, and the uncharted series is just amazing 
So if, if you're really into those games or if you haven't played those games, you can go back um, and be able to stream them on your PC or on your PlayStation. Um, most of those games, I believe you can download on your PlayStation as well, but not on PC, you can only stream. The other thing that, excuse me, that PlayStation now has over Game Pass for me is if you have a little one or you enjoy like the Lego games or something like that, there's a lot of Lego games and a lot of Disney games. So especially if you have a kid that you're gonna be sharing this with or something like that, or you just enjoy those games yourself, no judgment for me, I love the Lego games. They're, they can be a great platinum every once in a while. Um, you might want to look at the PlayStation Now service over Games Pass. They just feel like they have a lot of those type of games that they spend a lot of time playing those games. On the Xbox side, I feel like the games aren't um, as good maybe, and this is subjective, but they aren't as good maybe as Metacritic wise, but they're definitely newer and there's good new games as well. Um, Outer Worlds and Outer Wilds both were kind of game of the year contenders for some people this year. And they also have something like Gears 5, which came out this year, and a bunch of other, you have Ori and the Will of Wisp, is that the right name? I can't even think of it off the top of my head. You can preload it now already. So they have a lot more newer games. So like I said, I feel like PlayStation has better old games overall from this generation, the last couple of years, not that they're that old, but Game Pass has newer, more current indie titles and bigger titles as well. If you're gonna look into what service you want, check back and make sure what games they have, see what games they have, that may appeal to you over the other service. Okay, and the last topic I wanna to talk about is just both services in general, uh, overall, and what's, what features they have and maybe don't have. On the PlayStation side, you can definitely tell the app was made for console use, um, specifically when using a controller, that you need to use a controller to play the games, but you can use mouse and keyboard to navigate the UI of the system itself, of the app itself, but obviously you can't play the games. But you can just tell, even when using a mouse and keyboard, that you can tell this, this program was made for, uh, for a controller. So it doesn't feel as smooth, it doesn't look as nice. Now on the Xbox side, you could really tell that this was built for PC and it was built going forward to add and update and things like that. It definitely feels more fresh, cleaner, and a, and a stronger UI over the PlayStation app. And also on top of that, you can use the mouse and keyboard while playing the games and download the games themselves on the Xbox side. From the PlayStation side, like I said before, you could only stream them. With that being said, I just want to kind of run down both both sides of it. PlayStation Now and Game Pass, the price kind of is a wash. I feel like you can find better deals on Game Pass, obviously, because PlayStation Now really hasn't, I mean, it had the price drop, and other than that, it hasn't really had any deals at all. PlayStation Now may have better older games, but I feel like Xbox has more current games, which are good also. PlayStation Now has those kids games, which may be better for you, but at the same time, Xbox has better indie games and more games that have come out more recently on top of those AAA games. And then PlayStation, you get it on console and PC. Xbox is separate. The thing is, Xbox, you can download on the PC, you could use mouse and keyboard. And that's kind of why I chose to stick with Xbox. Now, I think that might be kind of surprising to some um, because I am, a X, I am, excuse me, I am a PlayStation gamer. I, I predominantly play on PlayStation. Um, but I can kind of go wherever the games are, and I think that for right now, for me, the Game Pass is a better choice for me because I could download, I could use mouse and keyboard, and I could play on the go. I got a laptop, so if I want to play any of the games on the go, I could just download through the Xbox app. There might be some cloud save hiccups, which I had to work through specifically in Outer Worlds, but it's just better for me, and overall, it's just a better value. I did buy the three month Xbox uh, Game Pass Ultimate bundle and got three months free on top of that. So I'm good for like a year from now because I keep getting months left and right somehow. I don't even know how anymore. But I mean, that's just me. As a PlayStation gamer, I've played all those PlayStation games already. I've, I've platinumed actually most of them. So for me, I don't really have a reason to go back. Some of them I even still have um, on disc. So I don't really see a huge value in PlayStation now. But right now, it's kind of getting exciting for me in terms of the description services because I feel like they're just going to push each other forward and they're going to make uh, both services better. I think Xbox is and, and in the lead right now in terms of the service just because it's been out there more predominantly than the PlayStation Now service has been even though I know they bought that cloud streaming service a while ago. But they haven't really put it into motion I feel like until they saw the success of Game Pass. That's all I got. Thanks for watching GG's. Let me know if I missed anything and let me know I guess what services you're going to go with if, if this has helped you at all or if you feel like you've kind of already made your decision just based off the blue brand and the green brand. But GG's everybody, like, share, subscribe and I'll see you next time.